Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel again. So, since you're watching this video, I believe you have already witnessed the very first teaser footage for the Unreal Engine 5 and also not to even mention the highlights of the next gen real-time footage for the PlayStation 5 as well. So right here today in this video, we're gonna actually watch the in-depth version with a more specific explanation on this massive technology that we're about to have next year on 2021. Can't wait guys and here we go. Hope you guys are ready and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're right here. Make sure you have your headphones on. Let's do this. Hello, I'm Brian Karras, Technical Director of Graphics here at Epic Games. Hi, I'm Jerome Plateau, Art Director of the Special Project. A few years ago, we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state-of-the-art and real-time graphics. There were two key areas that stood out. The first, dynamic global illumination. Beautiful bounce lighting instantaneously. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be static. And I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. And we're about to show you what it is capable of. But first, there was another area that we thought we could push forward. Truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory. We could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. And that's a big deal for artists. I just want to be able to import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data, without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. And we call this new technology Nanite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. Oh, I will love This has to be the right way. Imagine you can directly import your assets. That saves a lot of time. Especially on the optimizing, I totally agree. <laughs> Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. They are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. <laughs> this amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Okay, let's keep going. I'm really into Nanite, that's... You can't really, We've made you really some great additions to our deny. audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We 
they've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Okay. We probably needed a, a clearer explanation to that. <laughs> the demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. <laughs> I remember, I remember seeing like uh, uh, they actually introduced like the uh, explosions and stuff like that from Unreal Engine. But this is now that the environment totally is so next complex, gen. we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the Sounds door. promising. Yeah, I believe so. What we see on uh, Dynamic I mean... AI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any effects. light source can move while it still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. Wow, look at it on the statue. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Yeah. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. <gasps> oh, I just want to say real quick Remember about the Remember we mentioned high poly part. assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. No baking. You. Oh my God, we guys! Can do this more than a is single so statue. convenient. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room, for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. What is this monster engine after all? Wow. What hardware can run this? Oh. So with Nanite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. Guys, imagine Gen 1 of PlayStation 5 is this. What? Imagine having the pro version of PS5. There's not much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The seamless interaction, definitely they have done it on uh, the latest PlayStation 4 Don't games, but now. not as good as this. This is definitely... Oh my god. What's next? Coming on 2021, guys, so right after 
uh, the release of PlayStation 5, we will have uh, Unreal Engine 5 coming to Brazil way as well. So hope you guys are excited for this. I uh, it's more than it's more than exciting actually. I it's truly phenomenal of what they have actually uh, what they can actually do with this technology on a new era and a new generation for gaming itself honestly speaking when we are especially when we are i am watching and you're watching the uh the footage i almost can't tell that are we actually watching are we actually watching a animated film or are we even playing a game a amazing um for this new technology especially for the nanites it's uh, especially for the polycounts and also directly import your uh, 3D models and assets to it, uh, that really saves up a lot of time. Especially, I totally agree on uh, the optimization and of course uh, in terms of the baking as well. We have to like really worry about uh, number one thing which is the polycount. Right now, I mean since we have this new technology, um, I mean nano is uh, nanite or nano, sorry. <laughs> Nah, nah, uh, it's really my boy. Um, they really executed it very well, and I'm really looking forward to see what we can do with it. I think I personally want to try uh, this Unreal Engine 5 when it comes out, because uh, this is nothing like I have seen before. And yeah, like I say, can't deny that it's really the next gen. And Welcome guys to 2021. This is gonna be awesome. Anyway, with that being said guys, thank you for watching uh, today's video. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching everybody. Later.